Hi, I'm Dave and welcome back to Brentech IT Support. Today we've got a lineup of SwitchBot products to show you. Now we weren't sponsored by SwitchBots, we just saw, saw these and thought these are really good, really fun, so we thought we'd give them a try. You don't have to have the SwitchBot Mini Hub to get it all to work. Some of these products will work uh, locally without the hub, um, just connecting to your Wi-Fi, but some functionality will be lost and you won't get assistant voice recognition without the hub either. So we'll start off with the hub and then work our way through the rest of the products. So the Smart Hub Mini is smarter than your average hub because it also has a built-in IR receiver and blaster in it. So you can program your current remote controls to the hub. Obviously the device will need to be in line of sight the hub for it to work, but it does have that option. Uh, the hub then again obviously allows everything to work with the smart assistants such as Alexa, Google and Siri. It will also allow you to control your devices remotely as well. And as I said earlier, not all the devices actually need to have the hub mini to work uh, just from your phone and the account. But to have the full functionality, you will need the hub and it also allows them to talk to each other so that one device can trigger something else to happen. So it's quite a clever bit of kit. Well, we'll get on and have a look at what's in the box. Obviously, always be careful as you do open packaging that you don't want to stab yourself or damage the product. So there's not much to the box. It's just the hub itself. It's got four of the feet on it and a keyhole lock at the back so you can slot it onto a screw and it will hold it in place. You've got your USB port and your switch for resetting and pairing the device. A USB cable. Some thin sticky tape so you can stick it somewhere and your instruction set, and that's all that's in the box. Now, I'll quickly show you some of the instructions. It's a very simple set of instructions, but they do actually have a lot of QR codes in there to help you through. So some of them are gonna be for, some of them are gonna be for things like downloading the SwitchBot app and getting the account set up, and others may be to link you to either more specific instructions or to account, uh, unique account devices. I don't think it's gonna be unique device codes, I think it's more just guiding you in the direction for them. But we'll start setting up the app on our phone and going through that and then we'll plug this in. Okay, we'll get the phone up on the screen for you guys. Okay, what you do is you go to the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, whichever system you're using, find the SwitchBot app and then you click install. Once it's finished installing, you can then click open. And it will come to their welcome screens. Click get started. Yes, you want it to access our location. Um, we're all using the app. Now we haven't got a profile, so we will have to open a new profile, sign in, and as we haven't got an account yet, we'll need to set an account up. So you click sign up, and now we enter our details. And you agree. Yeah, we'll sign up to their emails. Now we need to get a verification code. Hopefully we can copy and paste. And go okay. At which point our account is now set up and we can now go back home. And we can see that there are no devices set up or even detectable. So we'll get this plugged in and start setting this up. And this works over Wi-Fi, so we don't need to worry about an Ethernet cable. So that's handy for us. We'll plug the micro USB cable in and then plug it into our power supply down here. 
and we can see the light blinking at the top. Come back to our phone and we'll now go back to my devices and add. It's now searching for using Bluetooth. It's found the mini, so we'll click on that. We need to take the SwitchBot hub and using this button, press for three seconds and the light starts ra blinking rapidly. So we can click next. It's now slowed down again and it has found it. So we can now say where we're gonna store this. So how many rooms, is this idea that's fine. We'll put our ID in and connect. Yep, that's all gone through. Really simple, easy setup. You can now see the light's gone solid white, so that's done. We can click done. We won't save our password for now. And it's online and it is connected to the cloud as we can see on the screen there. So that's now basically it for the setup of the Smart Hub. So we can now put that out the way. Okay, we're gonna now set up our hub with an IR blaster and we're gonna use our fireplace remote. Now, we normally use this one purely just for the lighting in here and not for the heater up here. So to be aware, if you're placing this anywhere near a heat source, it could overheat. So we're just doing this. It is gonna control this, but probably best to avoid this sort of setup for yourselves. This is just the, where we're gonna dry it and we don't normally have the heater on, so it should be okay. Now, as this is an unbranded fireplace, we won't have an automated routine that we can just set up and use. So we'll have to create one from scratch. So we'll come to our app and go to the Hub Mini and we'll add a control. Now you can pick from any of these that are preset, but uh, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use the water heater for a fireplace. Sounds a bit weird, but it gives us a nice lot of options built into it. And I found that a custom control wasn't very good. So we'll just click on water heater for us, but again, go through your use case separately and we'll click start learning. Now we know we're not in that list, so we'll click start from bottom and you can now tap any button to start learning. So we're gonna start off with tapping the power button and we're gonna press the power button here and we can see it's done it. Ignore that great big tick. That tick means nothing whatsoever. But we tap it to make sure it's working. It has, again, that tick means nothing. The user interface on this is poor because there is a special save button hidden at the bottom. I wish they'd put that save button next to the test button so you know to press it. So you click save, and that is now done. We can test it again from here. Because it has saved it, we now get a test panel as well. Again, so we can click save, click test, test again. We can reset it, relearn it. That's good. But now we can work our way through the rest of them. We can press the on and we're gonna have that for the lights. So I'll press the flame button, test it, goes brighter, goes brighter again. We know that's learned, scroll up, click save. Now we need to work our way through all of these. So we are now gonna, oh, I'll turn the light off for last click. We'll now press the heat button and learn that one. Press it one, two, because again, there's three settings for that. Click save. We'll go temperature up, temperature up. We saw that change from there. Click save. And then we should be able to see it's going there. Click save, temperature down temperature down, test, again, we saw it now go down from there, click save, that's now saved it. So we're, we're gonna ignore the rest of the buttons, um, then we click save at the top, give it a new name, we're gonna call it living room fireplace, and we are gonna put that in the living room, click save, Click start now, 
and it's done. So Alexa said it's found it. But other than the issue of where they put the save button, um, that would have saved me a lot of hassle just going through it once and seeing the save button. They've thought of everything else so well. I'm so happy with how SwitchBot works as a whole. That's it for now. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If so, do give it a good thumbs up, like, comment, and the most important thing is to subscribe. We really need to get our subscribers up, guys, because we really do appreciate talking to everyone, and it's YouTube looks for the number of subscribers more than anything else. That's the most important thing for us. And if you do want to get yourself any of the SwitchBot products, I'll have a link in the description down below to SwitchBot directly, and we've also got a discount code for you as well. So using our link and our discount code, you'll be able to get yourself, I believe it's 10% off. Don't quote me on that yet, but we'll try and get something like that for you guys. And I do think it is really worthwhile um, getting the curtains. I love them. I think the whole system is really great. I love it. There is also another version of the Hub as well, which is the Hub Plus. Now, I didn't realize that when we were ordering that. I might have got one of those when we originally did the order, but we might come back to it and buy the other version of the Hub and do another video on that if we get enough likes and subscribes. If you want us to do a video on the other Hub, do give us a comment down below, and if we get enough people asking for it, we'll go ahead and get one for you guys. Well, that's it for now. Take care, as always. Have a nice day and see you again soon. Bye for now.